Look what we have here, guys. The Scout Epic. I kept pronouncing it Epoch. It is in fact Epic. Now, how do I know that? She speaks for herself. Check this out. Powering on. Welcome to the Epic Experience. Firing mode match. Battery level 100%. Another electronic air gun meets the market, and let me tell you, this thing is a beast. An absolute beast. This one is the high pressure pneumatics uh, gun. This is uh, Tom's personal gun, and uh, it's cool that uh, he let me uh, take it outside and show it off to you guys so this gun's really interesting it is electronic there is a actual power button right back here in the grip which by the way this thing actually comes with different grips so you can adjust for your hand size um, it's got all your electronic information there um, and then it's got this little uh, button up in the front which is kind of like your safety so we actually push oh, that and it starts the firing timer. Now, uh, like with most other electronic guns, there's really no, um, I don't know, I guess pressure uh, to pull this back because we're not actually, uh, you know, working on a mechanical spring and hammer weight. Um, it is simply just a, um, a you know, a motion. Uh, the magazine, awesome, awesome. Full billet aluminum, it looks like. Um, just, oh, it's actually saying fire fault because I have the block open and I just bumped the trigger with my finger. Um, it doesn't allow for bumping the trigger, which is kind of a nifty thing if you ask me. It wants you to fully engage the trigger. So that way, if you accidentally are walking along, which I can appreciate, and you happen to like just kind of tap the trigger with your finger, it doesn't actually go off, which is flipping outstanding if you ask me, but that's just me. Let's get to doing a couple of shots and uh, you know, we're gonna do more with the shots. We're gonna show you guys some groups. Um, I actually have some, uh, um, some data on some groups, but uh, we're gonna eventually put a bipod on this and get it out into the field and uh, do some, some grouping ourselves. Uh, this, uh, little magazine here is actually really great it just literally drops in with magnets it uh, it takes no effort whatsoever there's nothing it's not like you would there's no pinch point there's no oh man it's got to be lined up perfectly there's none of that it just simply fits it literally guys just fits and it it's drawn in by the magnets and everything else it's absolutely just ridiculous. So let's just go ahead and show you guys just a couple of shots. Oh, flip our cap up here. Just, I mean, a beast for 30 cal. Um, a little bit of hesitation or resistance when I move this back forward, but it's not coming from the um, the actual probe itself. It's more like it's there so that, I don't know, I just feel like it's like a little bit of a pinch point. Um, but once again, cool feature is, is, you know, that whole bumping the trigger thing, you know, if you just happen to bump the trigger, you know, it'll, it will go off, but um, the trigger fault is like, you know, if you, kind of are just like tapping on the side of it or things like that but what a it's a great balanced gun it really is she's got some weight to her i'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that uh no, i just tapped the trigger my bad all right um but uh overall 
Um, like I said, she's got some weight to her. Nothing super heavy, but you definitely know that she's well made. There's no garbage, you know, materials in this thing. Uh, the cool thing is it's got a built-in barrel band up here. Um, so the barrel actually slides through um, this uh, barrel band up in the front here. Um, and the barrel itself is so easy to change. Once we get back inside, we're going to be talking with Tom uh, Simmon, and uh, he's going to talk to us a little bit more about, like, taking the barrel out, things like that. Um, he actually got to build this gun himself, so he's 100% versed in how to take these apart and uh, how to resolve issues if there are in fact any um, I have not personally seen any um, very cool other um, so there is a low pressure and a high pressure adjustment here um, with the high pressure you can actually turn it up or down without degassing the gun there's none of that well you got to be careful because you could damage the regular nope none of that doesn't work that way uh, this gun is 100% just totally adjustable. Another really cool feature uh, from the paintball industry. Here, let me just go ahead and turn it off. And uh, Powering off. the Epic um, is um, an auto de or a degasser valve. So you can actually open this up, degas all the air out of the gun and um, not have to you know, worry about anything. Like if you're traveling and they want to know is in fact, is your gun empty on air? Super easy. You just unscrew this and you know, you're on your way. Uh, fill port right up here in the front. It's got a fill nipple. Thank God. It's not a, uh, it's not a port per se. Uh, it does have a built-in burst disc. It's got your PSI. It's got your, um, your two different gauges over here for high pressure and low pressure. Uh, your low pressure on this it comes set from the factory uh, to, and basically the low pressure, because it's a pressure assisted valve, it the pressure actually shuts the valve. So they recommend not adjusting the low pressure. It comes from the factory as good as they feel that it should be. We don't know, nobody's really ever messed with them, but the high pressure, have at it get your velocities wherever you want them and uh very cool um also built in length of pull uh dial so you can actually dial out your length of pull it also has um adjustability for um raising and lowering the butt stock sorry my hands are freezing cold <laughs> it's cold out here in michigan and uh you know, just, I mean, seriously, a very, very, very solid built gun, um, 100%. I think this could be um, an absolute great um, gun moving forward, maybe even for bench, who knows. Um, this is the, I think this is the 600 millimeter barrel. They make a 700 as well. They have different liners that you could put inside these barrels as well. Uh, and they are so simple to change, you guys. Wait till we get to the second part of this video. You guys are gonna be like, wow, that's that's epic. Because it is, it really is. Uh, but they're gonna have slug barrels coming out. Uh, they don't right now, um, but there's gonna be slug barrels. There's gonna be different liners for those as well. So uh, stay tuned and we're gonna come back. We're gonna take this thing inside where it's warm and we're gonna have Tom give us a real good breakdown of exactly what you can expect from this epic piece of scout equipment. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. One hour later. All right, so here we are, we're back inside. I'm finally a little warmed up. My fingers were tingling. It's so cold outside, weather, like 25 degrees, something like that. But uh, we've got the uh, scout epic, not epoch. I thought it was epoch, I really did. But then you turn the gun on, the gun tells you exactly what her name is and you're like, well, that was my bad. I mean, it could be worse. We could have been married and I could have called her a different name, but no, that's not what happened. So, Tom, you actually got to go to Scout and build this gun yourself, right? Yes. Like, you got to put all the parts together. They explained how it goes together, everything like that. What a cool, um, you know, situation, really, if you ask me. I mean, there, there's so many little doodads and things on there I, I don't even know where to begin so can you just I'll, I'll get out of the way can you just kind of go over the the gun and what you learned and maybe show everybody how easy it is to pull the barrel out and 
you know, all that good stuff, and then we'll we'll come back. So I'm gonna let you just go ahead and talk about it. You know all about it. No, it is a very well built air rifle. These guys put a ton of thought into this. Uh, that's why it took so long to come come to the market. Is the owners down there, uh, Adam and Billy, just wanted to make sure everything was right. And I'm sure as things go along, they're gonna fine tune. But when you open up your case, you're gonna have this case inside. Uh, that will have your magazine, that will have a charger, that will have an Allen wrench set, O-ring set, extra spring for the magazine, uh, uh, your grip swells. There's three different, these and two other ones, so you can change that palm swell a little bit. Uh, a lot of stuff in there that you don't get, even silicone grease. Stuff you just don't get with any other air gun right now, that's ready to go. Your magazines are just nice aluminum magazines. All magnetic, uh, they've got their little spot right there, we can just peel it right up. The 30 cal is uh, 22 rounds, so I mean they're not small magazines. Uh, 580 cc bottle, M-lock rails, 20 MOA scope mount, uh, nice adjustable cheek piece, you've got a nice butt pad that's fully adjustable, kind of like your mag poles, everything you can loosen up, get that where you want, tighten it down, Triggers are phenomenal, just electronic triggers like you would have in a Red Wolf, Delta Wolf, Alpha Wolf. So it's just a connection. So there's squat there for trigger pull. That's ready to go. Um, also, three liners total when you get the gun. So the one will come in the gun will be what they call the zero. So that's your standard. Then you'll have a plus and a minus. Plus is one thousandths tighter, minus is one thousandths looser than the standard. Carbon fiber shroud is already fixed to the liner. There's nothing solid. And that's with yeah. every one of their guns. Every one of their guns. That's how they want you. And when you buy a barrel kit, when the barrel kits become available, there will be the barrel kit with three liners. Unbelievable. They'll be caliber specific and they're all color coded. They're very big on that. If you guys know them from the paintball market, color coding is a big deal. So 30 cal is red. So they have a ratcheting system. That releases the ratchet, pull up, just that easy, yep. barrels out, red for 30 cal, they're laser engraved 30 cal, the other thing on all your sleeves, where is it right here, 30 cal plus, so you know the caliber, you know if you got a plus, a minus, or a zero, it tells you right there, no guess, no, it's always there, it doesn't disappear. You know, so let's talk about that for a second because this is this is huge. That that is a really really huge ordeal, right? Because you've got some pellets and some slugs or you know any kind of projectile that we all go through this with some of our personal air guns that we already own that they're just not really set for the barrel because they're either a little too small or a little too big right. and, and we just struggle. Scout takes that all out of there. So if it doesn't fit in one, try your other one. It, it might shoot just epic. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's stupid. I keep saying epic, <laughs> but it is epic. It really truly is. If you ask me, this is seriously, you guys know I hate that terminology game changer, but welcome to the Scout Game Changer, because th this is this is epic. It really is epic. I mean, from their internals, what you'll start seeing more of that here in the near future, their spool valve that they used in the paintball market. I mean, they revolutionized... Screen went dark, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Uh, they revolutionized the paintball world. Uh, and they brought some of that technology, a lot of that technology, over here. So the spool valve is super easy to operate. It uses air pressure, balanced valve, to close that valve back. So this valve has a huge orifice. There's some pictures on my Facebook and Instagram. It's not a tiny valve seat like you have in a lot of our air guns. So that valve just open, quick close, fast. Uh, they put a little bevel in there with a seat, uh, encased washer. It's just a, a phenomenal setup. And, and that's and, where and, those low and high pressures come yes, in, right? Which yeah. the, the low pressure will come preset from the factory around 120, 125. Most generally, you're not really going to have to play with that. It's going to be the high pressure side. They don't use bell valve washers. It is a spring in there. You can make your adjustments under pressure up and down. It don't matter. You don't have to degas, regas, take the bottle off, back on. Everything's done right there. 
uh, within the electronics, which we'll touch base more on in the future, uh, you can adjust your dwell to mount that valve is opening. Right now, 21 to 23 milliseconds seems to be the, kind of the sweet spot with everything. So, but guys, I know are going to want to play with that. It makes it really nice, super simple. You're making your adjustments and shooting in seconds. Mm. Not a whole lot of time, twists and turns and everything like that. And uh, the barrels, as you can see, I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but that barrel also has a support right there. So it is a solid system. Now when you put that back in, this barrel end has a taper that matches the taper here. So when that sets in there and you ratchet it down, it locks it right into place. So we'll just... If any of you know me, I hate being on camera, so this is... I don't know if you can hear that, but it's ratcheting clicks. Yep. And that barrel's back in. That simple, that fast. They also have the tool in here. You also have a valve tool if you ever need to remove the valve. They also have the tool that when you have that barrel out where that red was, you break that free, that pulls your liner out. You can put your other one in, turn your back up, back in you go. Excellent. So they also make their own moderator. So it is. Uh, there will be some stuff changing in the future. I guess I'm not going to release that right away. That's up to them. So that will be color coded. So when you get your barrel kit, you'll also have, you went from 30 to 22, the piece within the moderator, caliber specific. So if you went down, you can put the 22 in there. So everything will be color matched from front to back. Very nice. They've got a lot of other things in the works that they're working on. That will be really cool. Uh, so again, that's be up to them when they want to release that part of it, but you'll be able to trick the guns out a little bit more, uh, make it more personalized to you. Uh, spent some time down there shooting it. It's a really, really good shooting gun and easy to adjust. That's, you know, we sell a lot of different air guns here and everyone has its fit for a person. Every gun I've got on the shelf is a good gun. It depends on the person, what they want. Is this gun gonna be for everybody? Eh, probably not, but for those out there that's interested, this is a great gun. Yeah. And they put a lot of bells and whistles on this because I'm thinking the same thing most are. Uh, here we go. $3,000 air rifle. But on this $3,000 air rifle, you're getting a lot of the stuff on here that with a lot of other manufacturers, you're paying to get those extra parts on there. So Sure, sure. So. Yeah. I mean, nobody else sends extra liners. And just like you said, you know, in here, uh, in this case, I mean, how many come in this? I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful case, right? And can you just show everybody kind of what comes in there too? Because, I mean, you got a whole Allen set. I mean, they yeah. send you, you don't even have to have your own Allens. If if this is your first air gun, don't worry about going yeah. out and buying full them. Landing, full ball end on one end, hex out the other. Uh, your charger adapter, different palm swells. Get that little piece out of there. That's your little can of silicone grease. You flip over to the other side. And there's a full replacement O-ring set right Here, there. Here, tip it up just a little bit so everybody can see it. There you go. Look Extra at that. springs, anything you need right there. Your charging cable. And on the long barrels, it won't fit in the case. So this spot right here will be for your moderator. That tool is what breaks the end of the barrel where I showed you the red color code. Yeah. Break that free. And there's your valve tool. All included right there. So they give you everything you need to be able to work on your own gun. Yeah. There's nothing... Nothing fancy, nothing extra. You don't got to spend extra money for really anything. Nope. You buy a 30 cal, you got a 30 cal that it'll take care of itself. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, and once guys get these in their hands and gals get these in their hands, it is a super simple gun to tear down. They did not make it complicated. Uh, you've got, I think it's three screws on the top, to pull the top assembly off, a couple screws in the bottom, pull the trigger group off. Yeah. It is going to be super self serviceable if the person wants to take that time. Otherwise, you know, we've already taken the steps that we'll be able to service the guns here if needed. Yeah. Uh, they're great, been a great company to work with. All the companies I deal with, I gotta say, have been really good to work with. For so, sure. Yeah, and, and, these yeah, guys and we'll, we'll definitely bring you guys some videos from here uh, on how to tear these apart and how to, you know, inspect your valves and all that and how to degas the gun, which I thought was another cool thing. And I touched on it outside. Yeah. Uh, it's just the ability, especially if you travel, right? Because 
you know, some airlines and stuff, you know, I'm guessing that most of them, they want to make sure your guns are empty on air. Well, with most air guns, you know, it's a pain in the rear end to bleed that gun. But uh, can you just show everybody how easy it is to bleed it? That's it. That's it. Just open it up, up let all it. the air out, and you're done. Take the bottle off. You can show the airlines. I'm empty. Away you go. Yeah. Again, that's, these guys are all national rank paintballers. Yeah. And they traveled all over the world, and they always had to show their tanks were empty. So there's some more technology they brought over. Sure. But I gotta say, they have they thought everything through, and really brought something to market that's different from everybody else's. So it's not just this tweak a little differently or whatever they've done a good job yeah for sure and you know and i i can look back and and think about all the times that they reached out to some of us and asked us our opinions like what do you guys think about this or what do you think would make it better what would you do if you had the ability to do that and i really think that they listened to a lot of people and and you know and i know it wasn't just me and you that they talked to you right. know they talked to other people and and they should they did their homework these guys didn't say, we don't need the input of the air gun and community. We've got it all figured out. They knew that they needed the input from the air gun community. And now, and they absolutely did. They did figure it out. It's an amazing, I mean, the case alone is just, you know, second to none. This is not a cheap, flimsy case that they supplied with this. The, not, nothing on this gun says cheap at all, you know, but yet... They still come in at a price point that honestly, if you really compare apples to apples, they're still smoking everybody. Yeah, and the barrels are, they make their own barrels. Uh, and they're nickel boron coated. So any guys are familiar with the AR-15 bolts and stuff, they're, your lead following should be super minimal if any. It's gonna blow out like dust, stuff just doesn't stick to it. And it's easy to clean off when you do clean it, so. Yeah, I mean, especially, you know, having that barrel so easy to remove, you know, right. I, any of my barrels that I can remove that easy, I love just putting them in a vise and dragging my yep. patchworm right through it instead of having to kind of bend around the corner. So yeah, another uh, yeah, excellent, all excellent idea. Standard barrels are a one in 38. So these are pellet shooters. Uh, when they come out with their slug liners, I think they're talking, they're gonna be around a 115, 116 twist rate. So all the guns short of the 35 caliber will come standard basically 600 millimeter, which is uh, 23, 24 inches. The next one is like 889 uh, millimeters. Oh, that's so a, you're looking that's at a like 35 barrel. inch barrel. Yeah. Uh, those be a barrel kit that you can purchase to go with. The 35 will come standard that way. I don't think they're talking at this point of making a smaller barrel for the 35 only because you need that length for the air to do what it needs to do. Sure. So like I say, they've thought it through, I'm trying to think of anything, our little yeah, I can just tell you, I'm blown away. Like, I remember when you called me from down there and you were like, man, this is this is way more than than I originally anticipated, right? Just like their build quality. I mean, you know, we expected something nice, but I don't think any of us really expected this. You know, this is, it truly is. I mean, to look at the fit and finish, even like where the barrel, you know, meets the, the breech, it's just... It's, I mean, it, it sparkles, it shines. You can tell that everything is perfectly machined and just absolutely beautifully uh, integrated into uh, itself, right? I mean, the, the solid or the, the, uh, the solid build on the trigger, um, just, you know, all the different gauges. Can you tell us a little bit about what are all these different gauges? I noticed that there's three different gauges. Because yep. what you got is you've got your tank pressure, you have your low pressure, bell and that one right there is I gotta remember all the time too then that is your uh, high pressure okay deal so you got all three right there so right. And it's a 1 8 then BT thread okay yeah yeah so of course so, you got your fill port right there at an angle I would recommend the extended fill ports yeah it looks like it might just, be a little just bit a little tough to get to you can do it but it's easier if it is an extended fill port that's a little metal ratcheting thing yeah. there is it just there yeah okay yeah we don't know <laughs> but yeah i mean dude what a just a solid solid gun carbon fiber wrapped barrel i mean that's not that's not fake carbon fiber that's that's a hundred no to watch these fiber. guys it's all hand assembled down there yeah i mean there's not much of course to make the parts but to put everything together it's all hand assembled and they're right there 
Yes. And it speaks volumes to staff that they have down there, the, time, the hours they're putting in willingly. Right. I mean, they're... Right. And I even noticed that down here there's four threaded... Uh, here, I'm sorry, I'm probably in the way, but there's four threaded... I can only imagine that that's for accessories like a bag rider or maybe like some kind of monopod in the rear. Uh, they're, knowing knowing how these guys think, they've yeah, got some plans for Yeah, I'm sure that they do, them. right? Yeah, and they, so they thought ahead. They already threaded it out. They knew, hey man, if we just put four holes down there, we can basically make an adapter that'll house and hold anything. So and you can change cocking sides. Oh, right or left. Excellent. Uh, screws are right there. So basically all you gotta do is remove the grip piece, pop those out, flip everything over. Nice. Reset it, put it back together. Nice. So you're gonna change that over in just a couple few minutes, be done. Excellent. Which I prefer a left cocking, even though I'm right handed. Sure. Beach their own. Yeah. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So yeah, there you guys have it, man. The uh, Scout Epic and uh, I mean, seriously, man, my, my hat's off to you guys for building uh, something like this. Now, you know, let, let's be honest here. And, you know, of course, there's always going to be those people. Well, he's a paid advertiser. He's this. He's that. No, I'm not. Listen, nobody's paying me to do this. I do this because I want to bring you guys the best stuff. Have I shot it at range off of a bench? No. So I can't really speak to the accuracy of the gun yet. Tom has, yeah. and you know, so he can, um, but I have not, but I will. And, and that's something, I mean, right now it's 25 degrees outside. I'd rather wait for a day where it's a little bit warmer. You know, I mean, and not only that, we've only got about 50 yards over here. Right. I want to take this thing up to the, the sportsman's club and I will, and uh, we'll be shooting it. And, you know, we may, you know, we'll do some videos on how to swap the liners. Like I said, we'll do some disassembly videos uh, just for those of you that are going to be getting into these. Uh, we're going to send a lot of rounds through this gun. So this is I Tom's don't... personal gun, so I am not afraid to beat it up because it's not mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, just working with it a little bit yesterday, briefly after, because we had to get back on the road to get back to here. Shooting off a very high dollar rest, that was a little finicky for me to figure out, but I put several sub MOA rounds down there and put Jean behind it. And she was even to put several sub, sub MOA rounds down there. Right. Five, six shot groups where you're basically a ragged one hole. Sure. So, and the guys next to us, uh, Joe Polanco and uh, Jerry Cornfield, if I pronounced that right, sorry, Jerry. Uh, those guys are doing a lot of playing over on the other side. And they were shooting a lot of semi, sub MOA, especially with the 25, because they're big 25 guys. Sure. So, I mean, the potential with this gun is definitely there. Just the ease to adjust anything, to make the adjustments on this screen. A couple times through it, you can go through in no time. You can shut the voice off so she doesn't talk to you. You don't want to hear that. You can adjust the amount of time it takes for the trigger to go to sleep, just a couple pushes the button, flip, no. I'm gonna do a match, so I want. I don't want to shut down for 25 minutes. Boom, done. Nice, so she will shut off on her own. Yeah, you can shut it down so you don't ever have to hear that voice. Nice, nice. Right. Well, right now we're still in honeymoon phase, so I'm okay <laughs> with it. But uh, there, there may come a time. I thought it was funny when I turned it on. I was like, oh, she's talking to me. Um, you know, if we can make that a little more British, that'd be awesome. So there's something for there, you guys. I think yeah. there's some things they can do. I'm not, I'm not speaking for them. I'm just the way it's set up. In time, you might be able to customize the voice. Right, right, right. You know, right. I'm pretty sure that might be something down the road. Right. Uh, if you guys know what they're paintballing. There's anodized, I know everybody's gonna ask about the camel. I've already had some emails on it. That's a very expensive process. That's an anodizing film and the paintballers will know all about it. Um, so it's a very costly thing to do. Uh, probably ups the cost at least $500 is what I'm... To, to camo it? To do their anodized oh, film they do to it. Nice. Which you can hit it with a knife and you ain't scratching it. Mm -hmm. It's very tough, but it's also gonna be a lot more expensive down the road. Maybe there'll be custom orders for that. Maybe not. Maybe they'll do some specialty guns. I don't know. They do have the capabilities to do it there, but it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a few bucks to get it done. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. right now, all black. You know what? And I'm okay with that. I, I really am. I mean, seriously, guys. I mean, like I said, once again, the testing phase is not phase is not over. The honeymoon stage. I mean, we just literally met. You know, I haven't had any real opportunity to get out. And I mean, to be honest, 
I don't even know how fast it's shooting. I have not chronographed the gun. I can tell you that the recoil that I felt outside, it seems to be shooting a little hot for me, um, but I have no idea. So until we get it over a chronograph and actually get it out and things like that, I just don't know where we're at. But um, I can tell you that right now at this particular time, man, dude, it's, it is epic. It, it really is. I mean, they, they chose that name correctly. They really did. Uh, this is truly a game changer in the air gun industry um, for just the the technology that's inside of this thing. So we're going to be bringing you guys a ton of videos. Stay tuned. I'll I'll try to bring you guys at least one a week moving forward. And we um, should start having inventory by the end of this month. They're in their production phases now. Uh, I am putting a for us a relatively large order in. Just queue it up and work with them closely to try to get what we need to keep everybody going on these because that's going to be once these start getting out there and you start seeing more videos and when we start shooting together and everything i think it's going to open up a lot of eyes and take away a lot of that mystery so i know everybody oh it's an electronic gun or yeah here we go new gun here's we got to wait a while get all the bugs worked yeah. out but here's the here's the thing though is that it's not new technology right it's the technology that they've been using in the paintball world 20 plus for years. 20 plus years right day state how long has day state been using electronics you know i mean i can tell you that my day state it doesn't fail i don't have any issues most people that i know matter of fact i don't think i've ever had to work on a day state to be honest with you uh but you know i mean so once again this isn't new technology you know this is a you know, this is just a new company that brought great technology to an, to an industry that's ready for a change. It yeah. really is, right? Well, if you look when I held up the repair kit, the O-rings, those are urethane O-rings. Almost all of them through there are all urethane. So a much better quality O-ring yeah. than what we're used to for our Boeing of 70s and 90s. So, yeah. I mean, they thought everything through. They brought a lot of that over into here, and I think this is really going to, it's going to step everybody's game up. You know, FX has been doing it for years. Day State's done it. They come out with something new, they step the game up. So I, I think Scout with the Epic has stepped the game. They raised that bar a little bit more. So I think it's going to be... I see what you did there. Yeah, you like I that? see what you did there. <laughs> Raising so, the bar. Yeah. So they're going to... Uh, this is just going to bring everybody's game up. I think everybody's going to... Yeah. Now, okay, now we got to change up. We got to... Sure. Got We've got to so. do something to, uh, to continue to be competitive. Um, and like I say, there's a lot of great companies out there. I mean, they're... Or something for somebody. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and, and obviously, you know, there's gonna be haters of this. There's gonna be the guys who are like, three thousand dollars for an air gun. I get it. It is. It's not cheap. But when you think about what you're getting for that dollar figure, it makes it worth, in my opinion, the investment, right? Because you're you're really getting and what's the warranty on this? Three years on the gun itself, one year on the electronics. Okay. Right. And the other thing to know with electronics, there's nothing that plugs in. You have no connectors. It is gold connectors. Tuck, connect. Boom. Soldered. Um, yeah. Done. They're not soldered. When you put this in, when you pull the trigger off, yeah. you don't have to undo the wire. Oh. She just pulls from the connectors. Oh, okay. And they're all gold connectors. If I got knows electronics, they know what I'm talking yep, about. Yep, yeah, yeah. So. so we're just talking pins and, you know, they just... No, they're not in pins. Round. Come together. Oh, nice. So, Even I mean, it's super simple. Nice. Excellent. And we're going to show you guys all that. We'll make sure we get into the internals. We'll show you guys how all that works. And, you know, I do plan on doing drop tests with it as well. So we're going to do, you know, waist drop. We're going to do height, high drop. And uh, right on the concrete We're talking floor. moose. We're dropping him. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, mess I'm just messing with Tom. We're not going to drop this gun. But uh, we are going to really put it through the ringer. We are going to shoot this gun. The one this thing I do want to bring in the Dominion yeah, yeah, but all right. Everything on here is PSI, it's not bar. Okay. So if I remember correctly, we we're running about 105 PSI on the high pressure side, generating a 30 caliber 44.75. We we're right around 9, 9, 10, 9, 15. Uh, 105. And I think if I remember correctly, I should have took better notes. The magazines are 22 or 23 rounds on the 30, and I want two and a half mags out of it. So yeah not bad it's a good thing we got a tethering system because you know me i don't like to slow down <laughs> um but you know we are we're going to shoot this thing at some distance as well you know because let's face it you know 50 
I like to shoot greater than 50 because I don't own many air guns that can't do decent at 50 yards. If you're not shooting decent at 50 yards, there's a bigger problem. It's generally not the gun. It's, it's the barrel or something like that. So I like to shoot those 100. But even the 100 nowadays is kind of getting boring, to be honest with you. It really is, to me anyway. It's like, you know, we all shoot 100 yards. Yeah, okay. We can shoot MOA at 100, sub MOA at 100. You know, I think the new black is 150, 200 yards. And we're going to take this gun out. And we're going to shoot it 200 yards. And we're going to show you guys the consistency that we can get. You know, we'll put a, a really nice optic on top. Not that the Helix isn't a nice optic, but we're going to put one on there that we can really dial in well at you know 200 yards and uh you know get this thing set up on a good bipod uh accutac obviously and uh you know get this thing really just rocking and show you guys what this thing's really capable of and you know it's either going to perform or it's not you guys know man i don't bs nobody i'm not here i don't i don't represent scout you know i you know, Tom just happens to be a friend of mine, so, you know, we hang out a lot together, and, you know, I'm here at the shop a lot, so, you know, but I love talking air guns, so we'll bring you guys more on this thing as we go. So with that being said, uh, until next time, I'm Moose, and I'm Tom, High Pressure Pneumatics. That's right, High Pressure Pneumatics, and uh, thanks for tuning in to Air Guns Michigan. We'll see you guys all soon, and uh, we got more videos for sure coming up that you guys are definitely going to want to check out. So until next time, be good to each other, and God bless. See ya.